check in, check in. Make sure I got the plug in. Alrighty, Bass Nation. This is going to be a two-part video. Um, what we're doing is we're making baby brush, no, large brush hogs, and the menace-looking um, twin tail grub. We're going to make black crawls and black tentacles on the brush hog. So it's going to be a two-part video series. Here's what we're doing to start off with. It's not going to be two-part video series. Is um, but it's gonna be two parts of shooting. So I'm shooting the first round tonight, um, and then tomorrow I will shoot the second round where we cut the black parts and put them back in the mold and then shoot the green pumpkin to go with the black tentacles and the black crawls. So uh, stay tuned and you'll see what the outcome is. All right, so what we're doing is we're just drawing straight black plastic out of one side. Uh, we're only shooting one color, so we only have to draw one side. I've been shooting some straight white uh, swim baits as well tonight. So we're shooting my two big brush hog molds, and then we're also shooting my um, menace um, crawl or claw or whatever you want to call it. it looks like the Strike King menace. We're shooting it. We don't care about topping it off because we only need the crawl, uh, the crawls and the tentacles. So we're shooting it, letting it, letting it cure real quick, and then I've already shot a bunch of them. I actually even tore off the heads of the brush hogs so I could just hang them up real quick. But we're actually going to cut them just before the end of the body there. And then the same thing with these is we're going to cut them right there where kind of the head starts there. So we get a nice bonding point and then we're going to shoot the green pumpkin next. So stay tuned and you'll see what it looks like. Alright, so let's shoot another round of black. So normally you see me shoot and then top off because we don't care if the body is perfect because we're just cutting them down no reason to waste any more plastic than we're already wasting to make these and we're not really going to waste it it's going to go in the scrap bucket and it'll make some other colors later on in life we'll wait for those to cure and then we'll demold them and go from there all right so it's time to demold them Take them out. All right, so like I said, we don't care if there's any air pockets up here because we're cutting them right here. That's why I didn't top off these molds. Just gonna throw them off to the side here. We'll hang them up shortly. We'll let them hang all night and then tomorrow, AKA the end of this video, we will add the other parts of the colors. Ooh, hard to do this one handed. Just slide some stuff out of the way here. So we don't knock over a bunch of molds. They're a little too expensive for that. All right. Pop it open with the screwdriver there. So what I've been doing is I've just been tearing them right here. And then tomorrow I'll cut them right about there. And then we'll mold them to a green body. And to mold them to the green body, all we got to do is cut them. Put them right back in the mold. And then shoot the next color at a really hot temperature. Second time this customer's ordered from me. He uh, likes having black crawls on everything, so he says it works really well for him. One of these days, I'm gonna try it. The next day, alrighty, Bass Nation, we're back. Now we're taking the black tails and the black claws off, and we're gonna put them in the molds, and we're gonna shoot them with the pumpkin seed and green pumpkin to go with the tails and the claws. So I've got some help here today. I've got Brock Bila and Van Hendrickson from Average Joe's. Make sure you guys check out Average Joe's YouTube channel, Average Joe's on Facebook. Also check out Brock Bila's fishing channel. He just launched on YouTube. 
it's going to be a really cool channel to watch. He's going to be doing um, like the life of the college angler, I think is the title, right, Brock? Yep. Okay, life of a college angler. It's going to show you the road, um, the life, the you know, the living arrangements, the travel, the practice, uh, maybe some tips and tricks and stuff like that. So make sure you head over to Brock Bela Fishing. And then obviously we got Van Hendrickson here in the background, one one-handed Van right now just had surgery. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned. And here's how we make these uh, two-color tails and tentacles. So right now Brock is taking all the tentacles off of the brush hog. So he's literally just pulling what used to be here off. We're putting them in a box here so they don't get dirty or oily or anything. And then we'll put all the scraps in the pot so we can make some more tails later or more solid black colors. But he's just pulling them apart and we're going to put those tentacles inside the mold there. So he's going through everything we shot the, uh, last night. And then we'll, uh, and then I'm going to cut these, cut the claws off. And we're going to kind of cut it at an angle here, kind of show you here. Cut one there, and then we come back and cut this way. The reason why we do that is it gives it more surface on both sides to adhere to, so that way your, your claws don't get pulled off with one catch. All right, so what we're doing is we're putting the black tips inside the molds. A few moments later. Shooting the black tips right now. As you see, we just laid them in the mold. This is the pumpkin seed black tip brush hog. And we're also shooting a pumpkin seed black tip uh, double to a tin tail rub in a style. While we're waiting for these baits to cure, go ahead and take a moment to click on that lower right hand screen there where that notification bell is. Also, please like and subscribe. They turn out like that. So this is the more of the pumpkin seed color. It's more of the green pumpkin color. And we're doing the same thing with the brush hogs. Putting the tentacles in there as well. Alrighty, Bass Nation. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Until next time, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hopefully you guys appreciated the uh, two-part or two-day version of bait making and turning um, the flappers and the tentacles into a pretty cool-looking bait. So if anybody ever needs custom order tackle, just give me a call.